Lu uh, Lucario first, which is interesting to say the least. So I'm excited honestly, to see where this goes. Honestly, I don't think this is a bad play. Uh, Lucario has a lot of uh, has a pretty good matchup against Snake in general, I believe. Um, that counter being a huge factor. But not only that, but the more damage Lucario has, as we're aware, uh, Aura will come into play. Mm -hmm. Aura right? and, and Rage together. And hey, exactly. Snake loves blowing themselves up with the grenades. So sweet, you're doing my job for me. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing is like, so if you have Aura and Rage kind of really popping off there, um, you're going to have Aura Spear, which is going to put down a lot of damage should it come should it go through. I think it will go through grenades as well. But the other thing outside of that, if Snake is not being careful about where they're throwing their projectiles or throwing their hitboxes out, one counter, or it's called counter, yeah, one counter from Lucario could absolutely blow up a stock. Through that, so Palakage is going to have to be careful. Already finding themselves somewhat of the defense. A quick string, though, gives them a bit more of an advantage, but that's just a raw forward smash to take the stock. Diaz knows something that I don't. Uh, I mean, Luke, I know Lucario catches a lot of jokes for uh, for not being that great, but man, good Lucario players are terrifying. Like, this character like has a lot of huge like damage output. And not only just that, but the knockback, especially this back air. Like, at this percentage right now, um, it, you know, he gets about 20 more on the snake. A back air at the ledge uh, could absolutely close up the stock, but gonna lose the stock there, never mind. Yeah, loses the rage, but gets a little bit of aura in return because as those stocks dwindle, the aura increases, and that's what makes Lucario scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not only that, but Lucario's got some pretty solid combos, and Snake being a bigger body as well means those combos should be, you know, connecting a little bit better. Oh, and I'm we trying to the find the counter. Oh, yeah, as you said, as you pointed out, that's a very noble tool, and interesting to see where Deace is going to pop it out. Actually, Paul Kaga eating some of their own grenades, though, in the meanwhile. It's a tough spot to be in. Yep, right there. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> the game froze. <laughs> Double slow-mo having to go through every single projectile was just like a... It was, it was a clip show and not the Wi-Fi variety. It was just the Lucario doing their thing variety. I mean, yeah, and that was actually really scary. Like, honestly, Apollo Kage is lucky that there was a couple of those uh, uh, freeze frames, <laughs> I guess, from uh, that counter because that counter would have absolutely decimated that stock. Either way, uh, DA is going to find a way to take that stock anyway. Apollo Kage just falling to their death, a little bit out of character, but we'll see if they're able to turn that around. Indeed. 127% is DA's going around. Oh. Yes, they are wall cling, though, for a little bit of cool tricksies. Tries to flood the counter expecting something, but the end lag from it will spell their doom to an uptilt. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's see if Diaz can find a way to close this out. I mean, that's unfortunate losing that stock. Kind of puts Diaz at a bit of a disadvantage here. So we'll have to see if uh, they can find a way to turn this around. Because honestly, it feels like Snake's in the lead, even though the percentage is otherwise. It can be tricky like that. Unfortunately, not finding the reversal or the counter with that C4. But still, Max Aura right now. Rage will soon follow if Holokaga gets those hits in. So got to be careful. Mm -hmm. Okay, good air dodge to the ledge. But now it's just finding a way to just get around the Sukaro, man. That back here could have been huge. It would have been game, set, and match, but unfortunately, Snakes still wants to keep playing. Ooh, Ooh it's getting a little scary, but here we go, man. Apollo Kage starting to turn it up. Oh, no, this could be bad news for DAs, who's been controlling this. <laughs> Don't ever mind. Hey, forward smash. Remember me from stock one? Here I am. <laughs> a little bit of hello there from DAs. So, Apollo Kage has something to think about as uh, that Lucario takes game one. He said, remember me like it was a throwback. Yo, throwback to forward smash. Yeah. Hey, remember like two minutes ago when you died to forward smash in neutral? Hey, <laughs> he's here again. In throwback Tuesdays at Xanadu Online, guys. It's like it's a sitcom. <laughs> hey, you know my brother, forward smash, right? He's coming to town for the weekend. Hey, forget about it. <laughs> aren't, you two, aren't you two friends? No. The car, the car is from New York now, by the way. I don't know what happened there, but it's just going to happen with a, with a New York accent. Listen, all I'm saying is that Pokemon, the Pokemon movie with Lucario would have been a lot cooler if he had a New York accent. <laughs> <laughs> Lucario's from like an ancient civilization and then pops out of like the, what is it, the staff or something from that movie? I have no it's idea. It's just like, hey, forget, hey, what's going on? Hey, who parked my Bugatti out here? Hey, feel the power of aura. What do I got to tell you? <laughs> hey, what are these Reggies doing? Come on, get off my lawn. Kaputz. All right, well, hey, uh, anyway. looks like we're going to Smashville once again, man. We cannot escape Smashville. It's an Animal Crossing kind of night here for Smash for Xanadu Online. And it's I must not say, even a Saturday. Like, we don't even get um, KK Slider. That's my favorite part about seeing tournaments on the weekends and just playing Smash on Saturdays is KK Slider coming out. It's always right. nice to see him. Always a pleasure. Dude, uh, just such, such a wonderful talent, you know? Yeah, really like, just once... a rising talent in the scene that I hope gets more publicity. 
what, once once in a lifetime talent right there. That's, that's generational. <laughs> once in a week, talent light, you know, type of talent. Love to see it. <laughs> once in a week. <laughs> Creating an artificial like supply on his talent, you know, just not letting it happen on any other day of the week. That's a good business model. <laughs> it's a good business model, man. Yeah. You create demand. And Holokage cannot create a kill, unfortunately, for Tilt not doing it. Oh, dude, he got really lucky there. That extreme speed almost hit him. Oh. But that mortar hit him for sure. <laughs> a lot of explosives. Holokage eating some of them as well. Okay. But I mean, hey, it's just uh, a matter of finding a small opening, man. And there we go. Dude, that counter's so strong, dude. It's terrifying. It's pretty brutal. It is. It is It is pretty brutal. And even at, like, uh, it's, in some instances, like, if a grenade happens to touch Lucario, right? Like, Lucario could teleport to the other side of the stage and absolutely just blow up Snake. So, uh, Paolo Kage just had to be a little bit careful here. Up tilt's pretty dangerous. 118% now onto Ace. Down almost a full stock in terms of this percentage. Lucario can bring it back, though. Dude, Apollo Kage throwing out these up tilts, trying to find this second stock. I don't blame him, though. I mean, I say it time and time again that uh, Snake's, up <laughs> Snake's up tilt is a top 15 character by itself. It really is. Okay, well, let's see where we're going from here now. I mean, Apollo Kage's got a great lead. Now finding the, uh, the overlap. <laughs> what's your, no, what's your, what the, okay, a fun little exchange there for all of us at home to see. Terrifying Apollo, if you're one of the players. Apollo Kage could have got that. They really could have. That but, was terrifying. Uh, not on the cards today. The script has been written and it's not that. Shush, 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 shush. Dude, we don't talk about the script. We don't talk about the script. We need to talk about that back air cleaning up Apollo Kage. Yeah, dude, that back air is brutal, man. And again, here we are. We're seeing D Ace with um the. Trailing behind Apollo Kage. Dude, my brain totally melted there for a second. But yeah, we're seeing DA's trailing Apollo Kage here, which means that aura is going to come out a bit stronger. And uh, the other side of it is that the, the, if we can get to the 100%, that rage will start coming into play too. But look at that aura. You can see it pulsing from his hands right now. Uh, Apollo Kage's got to be careful. Yeah. The car was torqued right now. You've got to be careful. You've got to avoid that if you're if the ace and that back air, though. Hey, you and my cousin forward smash. That about his brother. Back air. My goodness, that thing's brutal. Rage, it really is. aura, everything in Deace's pocket to make sure that Apollo Kage gets sent to losers. My goodness. Yeah, no, uh, the crazy thing about that, too, is like um, so often snake mains, when they get sent off stage at about that spot, they resort to pressing up B as it is, right? Mm -hmm. And by doing that, you kind of just keep yourself in place for a good half second or so. And uh, D Ace was really on top of it, being able to find that back air. Again, aura already like... Not near max, but like Aura was already going through hard. Uh, it, I'm not surprised that they were able to find that kill. So that's just good stuff from D Ace. A 2 0 2 on Apollo Kage? That's, that's saying something. Oh, yeah. It's uh, it's something else. Lucario might be built different. <laughs> Fighting and Steel type.